we are in Lisbon, Portugal right now. We arrived yesterday from Newark. Okay, so we're in Lisbon and uh, another travel tip in general is uh, travel with wheels. Not like this, but like that. Wheels, or else your hands might start to hurt. We have a good hand grip or, all right, let's figure out where we're going. We're in the metro now. And we explored a little bit. We checked out the scene. So a bit of a complication here in Lisbon. We're kind of stuck with our bags because the guest house is, I don't know if it's open or not or what's going on. I'm trying to find a luggage storage solution and I'm going somewhere to see and there's And today is our day two here and we're looking to revisit some of the places we discovered yesterday as well as maybe see if we could find some new spots. But before we get into all of this, let's start with some coffee and breakfast. So let's go. We stopped by this coffee shop called Hello Christoph. It was a nice smaller size coffee shop. It was very intimate. And the great thing about this coffee shop is that they have shelves full of magazines, like fashion design, architecture, interior design type of magazines. And it was very nice and relaxing that you could just grab a magazine and flip through the pages. I do sip on your coffee or beverage of your choice. So it was very nice. had avocado toast and salmon toast which were beautifully crafted and it was very delicious so yeah very nice coffee shop in Lisbon all right let's keep the journey going Let's go. Okay, big and nata. Here in Portugal. Yeah, it's a, it's a local thing and it's vegan available here. Yeah. 
let's go sit on a bench and enjoy uh -huh. this. Yeah, let's, let's do go. it. Okay, so here we have some pastel de nata. The first Portuguese vegan cream custard tarts in the world, it says right here. Let's open this let's up. Let's see, what is this about? So, this is the tart? Yeah. It looks good. It is. Okay, so, let's enjoy. enjoy. We got some weight to it. Walking up this hill, it's quite steep. And the ground, those paved stones, they're extremely slippery. So be careful and go. We're here. And this spark that we stopped by yesterday and uh, we're gonna explore again today. So we were here yesterday and we're back. We kind of accidentally discovered this place. Kind of nonchalantly just walking down the stairs. Let's see, let's explore. Maybe this is the route. It wasn't the route because I don't really know how to get out of the park going that way. But accidentally we came across this. Like, what is this? And all of a sudden, it's like mandarinas. It's like oranges. And we kind of enjoyed yesterday some and there's an abundance. Come check it out, check it out. Look, there is so many. There's like little dudes 
growing. There is so many, let's keep going. You think that's it? No, no, no. From yesterday's discovery, there's something else we found out about. Now, is it here? Here, look. What is this? Some sort Smells of so fruity, like uh -huh. almost fake. Uh. Should I try it? We, never, we didn't try it yesterday. It's well, go for it. Think. How is it? It's good. I don't know if I'm supposed to eat it, but it tastes good. Good stuff, but mm -hmm. your turn. You go pick some stuff out. I'm here enjoying all this. You know, you want it? Sure. Tell me what you think of this. Uh oh. If we both get sick, we both get sick. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Mmm. Right. Mmm. Edible. Completely edible, I think. Well. The seas are like very dark, like bluish black. Hopefully they're okay. Just the seeds, not poisonous or anything. But wow, they're incredibly fruity. Wow, almost like candy, <laughs> like passion fruit maybe, a little bit. Wow. Good stuff. We might get sick tomorrow, but we'll see. We'll see. Let's see what else so, you're gonna get. So yes, this park is really full of oranges. Like, I don't think we get caught or be in trouble to get a bunch of oranges because there are abundance. I mean, too many. I think they they get picked. We saw someone picking oranges, like a few, several, but. There are way too many, so <laughs> so let's get more. I mean, look, they look so good. I I can't reach. I can't reach. I mean, jumping doesn't help. Obviously, I am like five one. So maybe find find the lower hanging fruit. I know, yeah. But those fruits already picked most of them. Huh? Oh, hmm? do you want to show? The other thing we found yesterday? Ah, that's over there. It's a, it's a little bit over there, so... Let's go. Yeah. So this tree now... What do you think they are? Those are also citrus. But not much. So they're lemons. It's a lemon tree. I guess in Portugal, they grow all these citruses outside, healthy, but the sun makes sense, right? The climate, I think, is very suitable for this type of fruits to grow. So, yeah, I mean, I'm tempted to pick one of those, but they're probably way too sun to eat. So we're just gonna enjoy the, the view. I can reach. <laughs> this part looks okay, right? That's one that I left. <laughs> <laughs> well, you retrieved found I it. I picked it. <laughs> small but it feels ready I'm pretty sure this is mandarina so I actually I don't really know what these trees are if they're all orange or mandarinas oh. I think they're mandarinas because this is small but it feels ripe feels ready mandarina to me ah. 
<laughs> okay, we're loading up nicely, but let's get uh, one more. These look good. Mm. Maybe I could jump and grab one. Yeah, right here. Go for it. Ooh, that's two for one. <laughs> Again. You know what? Why not? So I think we have uh, enough to go yeah. and enjoy now, yeah. indulge a little bit. So let's go. Let's go sit down, enjoy, and talk about Lisbon, yeah, Portugal. Let's do it. Let's do it. So what do you think about Lisbon? Portugal? Yeah. Which is where we are at right now. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it's a very nice place to come, to stop by, to visit. It has a very different vibe, or it has its own vibe, I should say, with the way the streets are and the way the city is sort of set up. It feels pretty small, pretty compact, very walkable. A lot of stuff is maybe closer than you might expect. When I was lost, I would walk, and all of a sudden I'm already too far. <laughs> How did that happen? And it's very interesting when you're walking and to just sort of see these kind of steep, hills like out of nowhere you kind of go into an alleyway boom big steep hill or a lot of stairs and there's so much stone here and the tonality of the city feels pretty light pretty creamy also very aesthetically beautiful too. a lot the of roof terracotta roofs, roofs yeah. and a lot of tiles so many tiles yeah. so many different kind of colors or patterns or tiles in general and it makes the city pretty beautiful the, the detail so in terms of overall look of the city it feels like a combination of places we've been to. Mm. Sort of some of those very skinny sidewalks, which there are with stones, mm. very skinny. It's like one person sidewalk and when there's someone coming from one end and you're going this way, you might someone might go on the street, <laughs> basically, yeah, so. for a brief moment. And that right. reminded me of Florence because that's, yeah. I think, the first place I saw that. Right, yeah. In terms of hills... That was... The, the steepness of the hills reminded me of San Francisco. I mean... The hills are seriously steep. <laughs> the, it, it's the, the whole city, like this, you know, exploring and walking the whole city. That's an exercise itself. Mm-hmm. But yeah, overall, Lisbon is a great place, I think, to stop by if you've never been. Definitely had a great time here, experiencing it, being here, being present. It's hard to really actually, I think, put it into words. Images, footage, could showcase some of it, but unless you're here and really just kind of walking the sidewalks, walking the streets, seeing kind of the overall scene, you may not really grasp it, as with anything I'd say. Yeah. But really, because even walking here, there were times when it felt like there's almost no cars. Mm. Very, you know, few vehicles, which you may not notice. Of course, there are cars and there are areas where there's more cars than not, but yeah. often you could just walk on the street and it's hard to really describe how steep these hills are and like how scary they could be to walk on when the stones are too polished because mm. your shoes could slip yeah unless you experience and be like okay are my shoes adequate for this <laughs> do i have enough rubber or or am i gonna possibly slip should i go up this hill and then feeling kind of the stones on your feet if you brought certain kind of footwear <laughs> sort of like okay I'm done. We're, we're gonna be doing this for a while because so much of this is these kind of stones on the street mm -hmm. and then feeling how the sun hits you kind of the strong powerful sun yeah if you want to get a lot of vitamin d from the sun and then here a lot of vitamin c i mean that's the place <laughs> oh yeah it's a beautiful place to come so okay so as these uh, oranges and mandarinas are coming to an end but not really because there's an abundance over there I'm, and I'm getting a little full me too <laughs> so yeah maybe we could take these to go yeah and the Sun is setting making its way yeah down and it's time for us to go yeah let's go make our way make our way so let's go back. Oh, there's yeah. the bell See? that means time to go time to go let's go <laughs>